girls, welcome back to my channel. I do hope you're doing well. So, this is potentially the first Easter haul of 2023. You might think, Shan, you're getting a little bit carried away, but especially with Easter stuff, guys, when you see it, you have to get it because it just literally flies out. So, I had a little trip down to the range, and as I say, majority of it is Easter bits. However, there are a few little new bits for the home, let's just say, which... Well, let's see how they feel. We've got a few questionable candles. We've got some new little bits and bobs for decor wise and a new cushion. So I'm not going to see you in Ribbit Rabbit. Shall we get into the haul for our semi Easter spring range 2023? Right, so I have my receipt to hand because some of the things I can't vaguely remember the price. What shall we kick it off with? We kick it off with two little Easter goodies, which I know the price of these. These were one pound i was looking for the big chicks that i'd seen online but i could only find these so i thought for one pound they've got the little hooks on the back they can go on the doors you know in this household we love a good little tinsel decoration people might think it's tacky but i absolutely love it so i was looking for the chick as i say and i also looked i think they had like a carrot online but they didn't have any in the store i went to however i am popping to a range store in a couple of weeks because i've managed to reserve the big summer donkey print um if you remember from christmas i got the donkey print um for nana g and also you guys were taking me in saying shan there's a summer edition so i've managed to get the summer one with the matching cushion and i'm going to pick that up i think they said it's a couple of weeks it must be out of stock it's so popular everyone's wanting donkeys are they right when i say they had some of the best like little rattan goodies they really did um this one oh. look so i did get a few these are the wicker easter bunnies and if i remember correctly i feel that they were i'm gonna say eight easter bunny 7.99 uh 6.99 sorry so I don't think that's too bad. She's really cute. They had loads of these wicker ones in designs with the little apron, the little baskets, and I feel like, was it? Yeah, the next one, oh my God, reminded me of my arm. But this one I thought was just a regular little wicker bunny, and I feel they could go very, very nicely in our little spring decor. Seven pound. I don't think that was too bad. I mean, now I don't feel like I've got room to put you anywhere. We're just going to have to settle you up there. There is a lot of wicker theme. That seems to be the theme this year, like wicker, rattan, everything like that. I saw this one, and I don't know why. This one, the little Easter bunny. I feel... How much were you? Oh, no, sorry, guys. So this Easter bunny is 6 99 the big one was $8.99, so $15 for the set. But for some reason, I saw this, and it just reminded me of my aunt. And I don't know why. I don't know if it's like the little apron, because it used to be similar to what she wore. It's got the little blue eggs in its little basket. But, yeah, I just saw it, and I was like, oh, my God. That's like my auntie in a little wicker rabbit. So I had to get it. I was like, right. And then before you knew it, the uh, basket was just a wicker rabbit family. There were so many. I won't bore you. Well, not bore you, but I won't show you all the wicker rabbits just yet. We did get a few normal bits. I got this little headband just purely because I loved the peach vibes of it. And the headband, $1.99. I don't think that's too bad. I thought I need a new little headband for when I do skincare and makeup. And it's summer. It's peaches. We're good to go they also had it in makeup bags um also like little makeup brush holders but i don't need that i mean i probably didn't need that but essentials okay we'll go with essentials i thought this was really cute so it's one meter long easter chick bunting now if you know me and bunting if you remember i'm gonna say it was a decorate for halloween i could not get that bunting to stick for love nor money i'm hoping this might be a bit more plausible and i feel bunting 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 i feel this was like a couple of pound yeah 199 so which i didn't think was too bad but also if you didn't want to have it across oh no you might have to have it across 
maybe not on a ceiling we might be able to put it like along the door frame in the hallway we'll see i will say for the range they had a lot of wreaths so they had a wreath that was 12.99 which was in the shape of a bunny they had an easter egg wreath that was 10.99 they had a wreath the one that i really wanted was a wreath with like little leaves on it and it had a rabbit in the middle and it was 9.99 but the only one they had left the rabbit was a bit screw with so i was like hmm so when i go and pick up my order from my local range i'll be seeing if i can get a little wreath because i don't actually think i've got an easter wreath i know we've got christmas wreaths but i don't think we've got an easter one so if not i mean i do like getting my wreaths off etsy i like the knitted vibe like oh if you hear coughing in the background mama g is in here she's keeping her tootsies warm <laughs> she's just coughing away there laying under the heated blanket but yeah um i am on the hunt for a reef however i would like a little knitted one for easter but i don't know if i've left it too late now to order off of etsy i'll have to have a look i will have a look and then uh, now I did think this was a little bit pricey but it is quite a big bag and I know the range when I said about the tea lights I thought they was expensive um, a lot of you said to me Shan they burn double and they do so you think you would pay two quid twice 280 is really not that bad for it because they do last I think it's like eight hours the range tea lights so I got a big bag of potpourri this was 4 99 now with this you can get so many different colours, so many scents. I just went for a plain one in warm vanilla because I've bought a vase from Asda. I don't know, actually yeah you would have already seen that haul. I'm thinking of putting this in the vase just to like make it look all nice and smell nice in the hallway. So yeah, bag of potpourri but they had it in red which I was looking to get in the red one. But I feel like the scent, what was the scent? I don't, it mustn't have been something that I would have liked because otherwise I would have got red for Valentine's. But yeah, I just stuck with a neutral warm vanilla. There's some more with the rabbits. So, again, this little guy, you would have been Easter Bunny, $6.99. So, this is what I'm going to say is like Peter Rabbit. This is the man who's trying to take control of the two women and it's just not really happening. But he's got a big carrot. The girls have got the little wicker baskets and he's got his carrot. I just thought they were so cute, guys. I thought, what a lovely little family of rabbits. And then when you think that they couldn't get any cuter, his bunny's on a swing. And this was £8.99, so £9, but you can hook this over something. Look at them, and they're sitting on a little carrot. Look at them loving their life. So, yeah, I well and truly have a wicker rabbit family. And I'm slightly not mad. They also had, so on the smaller designs, I got two. There was about four or five designs. And on the bigger one, again, there was like another three or four, but I thought... I mean, I could have come out. Oh, you right there? <laughs> I thought I could have come out and literally just been at rabbit school. Or so I thought, best not. Best not. Let's try and be um somewhat responsible and just come away with three and two on a swing. Right. Oh, I forgot about that. I got a little plaque. How snazzy is that? I have seen so many happy Easter plaques. I feel like the whole house is going to have a plaque on each door, which I'm not moaning at. I am not moaning at. the. Uh, let's have a look. It weren't that. I'm actually really glad that they actually put the actual description of the product on the receipt instead of just a thing. Happy Easter sign, £2. I didn't think that was too bad. Do you like that one? Yes. <laughs> I didn't think that was too bad at all. The and again... The rabbits are a bit expensive. Ah? Uh? The rabbits are a bit expensive. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. And this, because it's got a nice bit there, you can actually hook it over. So I feel like this could go over the bit where our thermostat is. Sometimes you see with bits and bobs like that, that the hooks on them, they don't have enough thread. So it's quite restrictive on what you can actually put it on. And then, to do, 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 do right, 
because she's sitting there. I know she's going to see it. So this was $5.99. Mum's <gasps> <Yes. laughs> already, she's saying, keep, keep. I got a spring gong. Now, I will be venturing into TK Maxx and HomeSense next month, but I thought this is just a nice little one to get us going. I really want to get a tall standing spring gong because we've got one for autumn. We have one for Christmas slash Valentine's. I feel we need a standing Easter gong. Yes. We get a standing Easter gong? Yes. If you see Mum, let me spin a... She's tucked under there in the bed, <laughs> keeping her tootsies warm. I said to her, I was like, Mum, I was like, if I'm filming, you're going to have to be quiet. She was like, okay. And then she starts having a coughing fit. So <laughs> you're going to hear her anyway there. But yeah, five ninety nine. I didn't think that was too bad. No, that's good. They had these in other colours, but I did oh. think the blue with the pink was just very spring fired, very traditional. I'll put him there so you can see him from the bed. Yeah. <laughs> and then, oh... We all know how much I love bees. So I saw this and I couldn't say no. It is a little bee glass mug. Nice. Gave me like home sense vibes. Mm. And this, what was the grand price of this? Da -da -da -da, $3.50. You pay on average three, four, probably a fiver in home sense TK Maxx, and it's proper glass. So please be careful washing this up. <laughs> but yeah, I saw this. They also had it in a gin glass, but I'd got a gin glass from elsewhere and then they had a tall latte one. But the bees on the latte glass looked really different to those. So I didn't want like a distorted version. So I thought I'd just get that because it's quite an unusual little shape. Right. I picked this up and didn't know the price and still don't know the price. So, I mean, I should have probably checked it. But I didn't. And, oh no. Oh, hold on a minute. Let me just check the tag. Because if this is that. No way. I thought this was going to be a lot more expensive. So, I got a cushion. And it says, in a world where you can be anything, be kind. Very nice rectangular cushion. With a nice little font. Oh, I've got itchy eye. Nice little bit of font. And then around the top is like little diamonds, And it's in this baby pink crushed velvet. How much do you think that was? £10. £6.99. Good. That's good, isn't it? Yeah. I just looked at a receipt and I was like, yeah. oh. We'll keep that. I like that because that's a motto that I like. And also, I really like these long cushions. You know when you see my autumnal and Christmas vlogs, the majority of my cushions from TK Maxx and HomeSense are like the rectangle ones. And I thought this would be really nice to go out on the bed for the months of February, obviously for love, but then also throughout March and April. I didn't think that was too bad because sometimes, I know last year in Halloween and Christmas when I went to TK Maxx and HomeSense, the cushions had jumped up a lot on their pricing. Um, you could usually pick them up for 10, 12 pound, but this year, last year, yeah, it was like 17, 18. So I kind of had to restrict myself a little bit back on that, but oh, I wish I'd have got, because they had it in a silver as well. Might have to have a little look when I go back, eh? Right. These, I don't know if I'm keeping, guys. They were $2.99. And I picked them up because I was trying to get a little hamper for me and mum. But I found another version elsewhere. So I feel these might go back. But if you're looking for, like, a little arts and crafts, they're these little cardboard nice? hampers. And you get all the bits in them. Mm. $2.99. But as I say, children to do. Yeah, but I picked these up because I didn't think we was going to have a little um, yeah. Easter box, but I managed to find some elsewhere. So these will probably be going back. But yeah, if you are doing crafts, you get ribbon in there, you get the tie around with it, and you get the little um, straw in there. Not too bad if you're doing a few Easter crafts. Oh, you are right? <coughs> oh. <laughs> ah. Again, so because people said about the tea lights burning longer, I thought we'll give this a go. So I got this diffuser, which was $3.99, but I feel it's 160 mil, so that's actually quite a big one. And it is spring blossom and honey. Oh my goodness, I almost broke my nail. Oh, that was quick reflexes. Oh my goodness, see that's like ninja. 
So Spring Blossom is what it's called. And I love the packaging. And they'll say 160 mil. You pay about two or two fifty for a hundred mil now. So when you actually equivalate it, it's probably just because I look at it and think a diffuser, four quid, jeez. But when you actually look at the size, that is why, Shannon Lee. I picked up some napkins. We've got some Happy Easter napkins. These were one pound. So you've got plain Happy Easter, and then the reverse of them are all the little farmyard animals and Easter eggs. You know, we love a good little serviette in this household and the paper plates, paper cups, especially when it's a theme. When it's a theme and there's an occasion, we are a sucker for it. Now, I saw this, but I don't think I'm going to burn it. This was $3.99. It's an elegance body candle. These body candles are everywhere. I got you a body statue, didn't I? <laughs> Where is your body statue? On my bedside table. <laughs> I've got, it's a candle. It's a candle, but I would never burn it because I don't know where the wax would go. <laughs> well, I'll give this to Mum as a Mother's Day present. <laughs> but I loved it. Yeah. I was like, go female. I mean, I would love to have a body like that, but hey ho. <laughs> wishful, wishful thinking. And then these are like some little prints that I got. So this is a little oh how silly of me <laughs> oh i'm so silly <laughs> so i picked this this is a winston black and white frame it was 139 and i loved it because it says there is beauty in simplicity well i thought well i could just keep that in there but i didn't realize it's got the range and the product code in the top oh I didn't. Re I thought it was separate. Oh no! Oh, that's annoying. I'm gonna have to take that back. I only liked it for the uh, quote that was inside of it. Oh, we give it to someone. <laughs> yeah, but you can't because it's got the. It says like picture size six by four. I thought it was not off of the print. Right, right. It's on the print. Oh, that's annoying. And then I loved this. Loved, loved, loved this. What is this coming under though? Oh. I don't know, what are you going to come under? I feel this is going to be three ninety nine, And it's just this little sign. It says, a coffee a day keeps the grumpies away. I thought that was quite nice for the coffee corner. Yeah. And it's got the little uh, hook on the back so you could hook it up. Or I might actually keep it for when I move out for my little coffee station. I don't know. But I just thought that was quite nice. So I was like, oh. Coffee a day does keep the grumpies away because it gives me that caffeine. Right, these ones were four ninety nine each, but they're a decent size. So I got a matching set. So the first one says, be the reason someone smiles today. And it's all botanical, very neutral, very natural. Yeah, that's nice. That's cute. And then the matching one to it was, do more of what makes you happy. Oh, that's a good sign. I like them, so I thought they would be quite nice because we want to try and switch up the hallway a little bit, which is why I've got the canvas of the donkeys for now. But I thought these might because they don't have any things to like hang them up on the wall, but they're so light you could put you know, them command strips. Yeah, yeah, this is something you could just stick up with the command strip. So I might have a little think of where these can go because I thought they'd be quite nice just to brighten up, and they're very neutral. Yeah. They could be like all season round. So I'm, I'm I'm thinking of just putting a white over the grey there. Keep yeah. the green and just having the white emulsion so it brightens it up. I we'll see. That could be like a summer yeah. renovation. And then the last thing that I got, right. What was this one? I feel this. Would have been towards the end. Right, let's see what the number is because that's how you find it. 9250. Oh, 92. Oh, what is this number? 969. Oh, I can't find it on the receipt. Unless I'm not looking properly. 
I have a feeling this was about five or six quid. I'll have to have a look through again. I'm probably looking right on the wrong thing. I think this was like five or six quid. But it's another wicker sign and it says this house runs on love, laughter and inappropriate humour. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> and again, this doesn't have any... Um, oh, it does. It has two little hooks on the back there, actually. Oh. Two little gold hooks. But again, it's light enough that you could probably get away with just command strips on this. Mm. And I thought that's quite good because people do sometimes comment that mine and mum's humour is not the most appropriate sometimes. But hey ho so yeah we have got a lot of mixture of homeware we've got some easter bits and of course we have another new gonk to add to the family <laughs> so guys the first kind of spring easter haul on the channel and of course you've got to kick it off with the range i mean i might be popping back you might see there will be maybe in a vlog i'll show you if we get any more gonks if we get any more reefs might have a little look around but i will definitely be popping to tk max and home sense that's for sure because i want to give them a little go and see what they've got i was very tempted to pop in there when i was away at the log cabin thank goodness i didn't because i would not have had any room in my car that's for sure but yes i am very very happy with what we've got i think we've got a nice little mixture love that cushion 6.99 i think this is the bargain of the haul my lovelies this is the bargain i was thinking like 10 12 pound see and i didn't even check the price normally when i don't check the price it fails me and it turns out to be a lot more expensive than it is but no it done me good this time so if you did enjoy the video guys you know what to do hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below and as i say leave a comment what was your favorite bit what was your favorite bit mother uh, the gonk the gonk yes <laughs> of course so now we have a new gong and i'm sure we will have many more to come in this season where we slowly build the gonk family but as I say, take care, stay safe as always, and I shall see you very soon for a video, whatever that may be. Bye, guys.